Hi, I'm Jay Leonard Jay, and today we are looking at Robert Keeley's Dark Side. Twisted by the dark side, young Skywalker has become. The boy you trained, gone he is, consumed by Darth Vader. Well, today we are looking at the dark side, and let me tell you, this one is a good one. It is a really, really good one. Like, screaming eagle, like, soaring above your head with, with lit, like, lasers coming out of its eyes and rainbows coming out of its talons good. It's as smooth as, like, a pat of butter on a hot iron skillet. This thing has these beautiful, gorgeous, dripping echoes, this modulation that adds this wonderful 3 day I'm to... I'm really just dripping with excitement. I really like this pedal. Uh, and even though it has lots of knobs and a switch here and, like, a lot of, like, switchy switchies on here, uh, let me tell you, this thing is so simple to use, you could pretty much teach it to a baby. This pedal is pretty much divided into two sections. You got your fuzz section and your like modulation delay section. Things get really exciting on like the modulation side of the pedal. It goes between two modulation effects, just blends between them. So on the left side, you have your flanger and your rotary. On the other side, you have your phaser and your univibe. Also on the modulation side, you have access to this really old school sounding forehead multi-delay. In this mode, the blend knob actually becomes a tape head selector. Finally, you got yourself an expression pedal out for your modulation side and uh, a little switch to kind of change the order of your pedals and uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to get a bunch of really great non-Gilmore tones out of this dark side workstation. And I'm gonna do it using only a 2011 Telecaster with the Virgil Arlo pickups and String Joy strings and a good old fashioned Blackface Fender Deluxe amplifier. Let's plug this sucker in and go to work. I love the fuzz on this guitar. It is perfectly voiced. And if you're looking for a big muff pie that really cuts through with authority or has a soloistic kind of edge to it, this is it. I haven't heard anything like it and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, you have your basic filter, your fuzz, and your level, and then a mid-voicing switch between scooped, the classic big muff, uh, flat, and full. Now let's go hear what all of this sounds like. This is my clean tone. So now let's go turn on this big muff. Here we go.
Now let's go move on to the modulation side of things. You got four classic modulation effects. You got the rotary, the univibe, the phaser, and the flanger, and you can mix them together for some really cool effects. Let's look them all individually first. Uh, starting with the rotary, which is with the blend all the way up and the switch on the left side. Put these things up pretty high and you get a classic kind of like Leslie fake organ kind of thing that sounds absolutely killer. Last but not least, we find ourselves to the delay section. It sounds great, very tube tape kind of bass kind of thing. Uh, has the four heads, so you can kind of use those to change your delay times or mix and match to come up with some really fantastic permutations. Uh, but before uh, we get into the delays, I wanna show you one hidden little thing about it, and that is if you turn the blend down on your uh, delay, you actually get a clean boost. So uh, if you don't wanna run the modulation, you could have a fuzz pedal, and then when you want that kick in the pants, you could turn on the modulation clean boost, kick it out. So you have something like this. Cool function, eh? To get a really cool kind of slapback tone, we're gonna go with the first tape head setting, and I'm just gonna go to one a repeat and a good amount of delay time. We get that nice echoey kind of thing. Oh, gotta add a little bit of a uh, mixer. 
There it is. Then uh, give yourself a good little buzz on there and uh, you get something really beautiful sounding. Well, that's it. That's the demo. Thank you guys so much for watching. For my subscribers out there, um, I've done a video on the dark side. I've done a video on the Monterey. And uh, if you guys have seen both, please tell me which one is the one that you could actually probably see yourself put on your board or the one that you'd be most likely to give a shot. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, please keep commenting and please keep subscribing. You guys are so cool and it's awesome to watch the page grow. Uh, that being said, I'll see you guys all soon. Take care and goodbye.